Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to another video. Today, how to raise guppy fry. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. Welcome back to the channel, Fishy Folks. Before we get started in today's video, I just would like to wish everyone a happy holiday. That's Christmas, Hanukkah, Festivus, uh, Kwanzaa, whatever the hell you celebrate, happy, okay? So there. Uh, and speaking of holidays, it is the giving season and uh, we do have something we need to give to right now, folks. So listen up. A good friend of mine, Lisa, from Super Cichlids, uh, is trying to support a young lady who tragically lost her mother down in Dover, Delaware. Uh, the mother and the daughter, Anna, were uh, uh, big customers, huge customers of Lisa's and Martin's at Super Cichlids. And the mother was tragically killed in a car accident uh, two weeks ago. And Anna, uh, her father is disabled, so it's hard for him to get around. But their car was destroyed, and you know the drill. And it's Christmas, so guys, Lisa's PayPal is down below in the description. Do me a favor. Donate whatever you can, $5, $10, $2, whatever it is, throw a donation towards Lisa's way to help Anna. In addition, anything you buy on my website, michaelsfishing.com, between now and December 31st, I will donate 10% of all proceeds to uh, Lisa's cause for Anna. So buy lots of guppies for yourself and help support Anna in this time of need. So. All right, folks, let's talk about raising guppy fry. So typically I raise guppy fry uh, the community style where I just have a fish tank with lots of adults, lots of hiding places and guppies are born. They hide in the, in the weeds, if you will, and whoever survives, survives, and that's great. Uh, when I have to uh, work on lines to help keep them uh, square, I simply pull out the coals and if they're really jacked up, like, you know, bent backs and crap, I give them to, to Taco or to uh, Hank, the a-hole over here. Or if they're just not the right color, but they look good, they go right in the mutt tank. And that's how I get so many mutts uh, because that's part of the deal, right? Is keeping the lines clear. So I've seen a few people online saying these, these guppies breed true or these are this strain of guppy, but they're really not. And uh, if you, typically, if you have to ask what strain of guppy you have, it's a mutt. It, that's just a fact of life, folks. Uh, anywho, uh, recently I got a import order, and I'll put a link up here to that video. And I had four bags that had fry in there. Now, usually the mamas die after they uh, give birth due to stress, and then that causes the water to get all fouled, and then that causes everything to die, and it stinks. Luckily, all four mamas survived and a ton of babies survived. And I didn't have any tank space, so I did what any other breeder would do. I saved them any way I could. And here's how I did it. All right, fishy folks, here's the setup. It's just two um, plastic shoe boxes and one container I had lying in the fish room. It's all I had. Now, I've seen other people do this, and I've done this shoe box routine before, in fact. A uh, friend of mine, Phil Hamby, just set up a whole breeding rack like this. And it's just coincidence because, you know, it's just a way to raise guppy fry. Now, I know there's three different strains here. And one of them are, uh, I think, black metal. And another one, there's two albinos. One of them are the, the topaz. I think, I think those are the topaz up there. And I think these are the platinums. But I'm not really sure, I don't remember, so I gotta let those guys get older. Now you may notice, there's no filtration. That's right folks, no filtration. Why? Because it doesn't need it. I have some air stones, one in each, running off one uh, gang valve up here. And uh, I'm feeding this ultra fresh newborn uh, food, which is spectacular, very high in protein. I'll put a link, you can only buy it on Amazon right now. These guys have been trying to sponsor me for quite a while. Uh, I do like most of their food uh, as well, but uh, this is good stuff. Check it out on Amazon.com, link down below. And so you may be saying to yourself, but Mike, how do you keep the water parameters in check? Well, first of all, uh, the guppies are really small. They don't produce much waste. Second, I only feed a couple times a day a little food, just enough so they eat it within a... I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. 
Then I come back and feed. Then I change water. How do you do that? Well, I just use a simple airline like this purple airline and I create a suction and I drain half the water and then I add water back into it and that's it. And now when these guys get big enough where they're not gonna fit in their mama or dada's mouth, I will simply put them in their tanks uh, and be done with it. And that's that. Now, as you guys know, there's no beneficial bacteria in the water column or very little. There is beneficial bacteria on the surface of this plastic. And you know, as they get bigger, I may throw some lava rock in there that's been uh, seeded or even a small sponge filter or pieces of sponge. But I don't really know. You don't really need it as long as you keep the water clean uh, by changing water every day. And since I'm down here every day, I simply set up my suction device and then go do other things. <coughs> I'm fine. And then I come back and I fix it. So that's that, folks. That's how I raise uh, fry. Let's take a look at the parents, okay? All right, folks, these are albino full whites. Uh, one of the guppies I like least in the hobby. They have no color. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just kidding. Uh, they're growing on me. I didn't like them at first because they're albino and the red eyes creep me out, as you guys know. But they're growing on me. The tails, they're like a translucent blue. Uh, I don't know if it's coming up on the camera, but they are gorgeous. And even though they're pretty plain looking, that gorgeous tail uh, really stands out. In addition, if you have a nice planted tank with a lot of green, this white will really pop. So uh, a good guppy to have in a planted tank. And here are the albino blue topaz. Very popular seller in Michael's fish room. Every time I get them in, I sell out of them. Of course, in this tank, double duty, we got some albino pleco babies. And you can see one of the adults underneath the aquarium cough sponge filter. Folks, I can't show you the black lace because uh, I got in 10 pair for a... Uh, special order actually I think it was five pair for a special order for a customer and they were shipped already so uh, I don't have any to show you but guys don't forget about the donation to help Anna uh, PayPal link down below and of course 10% uh, of your entire purchase will go towards donations as well uh, if you don't want to buy something now, buy a gift card. Buy a gift card for a friend. Buy a gift card that you can donate at your local fish club. And 10% uh, of that gift card or any purchase will go towards helping Anna at the website michaelsfishroom.com. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this informative video. Uh, if you did, if you found it informative and uh, you learned something, consider sharing with your friends and in, in all your guppy groups on Facebook. Hope you guys have a great day. Happy holidays. See ya. Welcome back to the channel, fishy folks. Uh, I've been sick the last week. In fact, the video that I uh, last released, I'll put a link up here about my algae-filled angelfish tank. I hardly talked because I couldn't. Who cares? You don't give a rat's ass, do you? Probably not. Uh, I I don't know. So go to my website, buy lots of fish for yourself, and help this young lady out. I should tell you her name. I should give you more information. I suck at this.